Hello guys, welcome back to Backstage Business. This is The Big Entrepreneurial Show, and today we're at Rosie and Morgan's Business, Bonashia Limited. They print books, they print my books. I've got to wear one of these things. They're very serious about health and safety here. Let's go. just been with Rosie and Morgan. They've just gone down for a cheeky fag. What is a cheeky fag? This is a fag that's a bit rude to you. I don't know what that is. Thought I'd just put that in. That's funny popped into my head. Cheeky fag. Um, I don't smoke because I'm great. I was just talking to Rosie and Morgan about what I really like business owners to think about their business, especially when they're like, they've got a team of nearly a hundred people. It's a big printers. Um, they're in a in a way, a, a quite tight margin business. So when you're in a tight margin business, you've got lots of people, similar to my business, you need to have this mentality of 10% up and 10% down. So what I'm always looking for is how can we bring our cost of running down by 10% year on year because the rising costs of running a business always goes up. Uh, government always put new taxes on turnover. You know, I've always been moaning about that, but we want to make sure sales go up 10% and costs go down 10%. So the, the net difference should make a dramatic uh, drop to the bottom line. And usually, I mean, I don't. this is not a scientific fact here, but if I grow my turnover by 10%, I double my profits of my business because for my business and like this business, you know, once you paid for the office, once you paid for the team, the standing still costs, the operational costs, the extra bolt of turnover makes a massive, huge difference to the bottom line. Have a think about it. So we just got back from Rosie and Morgan at Bonashia, the book printers of the UK, looking at their brand new half a million pound machine. I enjoyed doing a coaching session with them. We hopscotched into the car and we got to here in Cambridge, the town which is near them in Peterborough. And we're going in here and we're here to see the opening of Party Man World, uh, Cambridge which opens in four weeks time so we're doing the final touches. And I'm just going to show you around because this was the building that was a victim of arson. So it was burnt down, uh, someone broke in, burnt all the place down, it was a disaster. I was in China at the time. Put some shots in here, Chuds, to show just how bad it was. Um, and we're gonna go in now and just have a quick look around, see everything, let's go. Here's the main play frame. And if you've ever wondered what 10,000 plastic ball pour balls look like, here's the answer, gang. Because a lot of people have been wondering, what does it look like? They message me and go, James, hey, can you tell me what 10,000 plastic ball pours will look like? Here's the answer, here's the answer. Uh, toddler play area over there. There's Elliot over here. Elliot, give us a wave on camera. Just that he's been hiding. He's been hiding, oh, I don't know if I should be on there. But yeah, he's the man that built all that for us. He's actually one of my clients as well. Lovely, lovely man. We've got a brand new fitted out kitchen. I suppose with our experience of running businesses, we've really worked out the flow of um, these businesses as well. So this is a really nice wash up area. Anyone that's in catering, so all your dirties are gonna go in there. So everything can be really nicely organized. All the thinking and how you improve things um, as you trade and go on. This is gonna be our baby room day nursery downstairs. Oh God, uh, we, we fitted this all out and we was a week away from opening and um, it just got burnt down, absolute disaster. Here it is, look at this chance. Coming soon, Party Man World Cambridge. Um, up here is gonna be the bigger part of the day nursery. Oh, lights, chuds, lights. So this is gonna be our, our toddler area. Look at this really loads of natural light. We're a massive fan of natural light in day nurseries. The more we can get, the better. And then this is gonna be even more room. So this is gonna definitely be a 100 place day nursery once we're all finished. Staff area, really nice reception area, garden going out the front. So super pumped and excited to get this open. So guys, progress is happening. And if you've watched one of my recent videos, I've really sort of understood what makes me happy and makes human beings happy, it's progression. And as long as our business is progressing in the right way, as long as our friendships are progressing in the right way, then we're gonna keep those things happening. If progress isn't happening, that's when we look for change. And change isn't the thing that really makes us happy. It's progress, responsibilities for getting stuff done and making things happen is really what drives me. Progression in your career, progression in your relationships, progression in your friendships. And one of the big things that I've done in progress recently is progressed our senior management team. I need to get an FD. Our business has grown to some super size now where we're employing over 400 people we're doing a million pounds worth of sales each and every single month and it just got a bit big for me on the financial side and we've got a really good accounts team but we never had a fully qualified accountant and here's my little message for entrepreneurs and business owners watching this, this is the big message today 
you should always aim and have a desire to have an account and come work in your business because if you think that that's going to happen and you start acting like that's going to happen then you'll get that to happen it might not happen now but look at what you want your dream team to be like in five years it's what i've done with rosie and morgan earlier in the video i was talking about what does your dream team look like what does it look like in five years time let's put the avatar of your dream team around you and that's how you build a fantastic business deciding what the end looks like not just for the business but for the team that are going to deliver that end business what does the finished team look like what does the finished business look like leave your comments below and let me know guys thanks very much for watching backstage business i'm just catching up with elliot as a client of mine and he has built this fantastic play area for us here in part of world cambridge and he came along to my business growth seminar and you can come along to my business growth seminar too for free there's a little link in the video description of how you can book along and come and spend the day with me for free see you very soon leave some comments below make sure you like and subscribe and do all that stuff too Thanks for watching the video, really hope you enjoyed it. We've got a ton more, but first of all, you need to subscribe by clicking here so you get notified when we bring out more videos, and you can watch the rest of our videos by clicking here.